Moving in to our last segment this week on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, we got our NFL's Week 15. Extra juicy dogs. Juicy, juicy. Oh, 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 oh. This is where we give you a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end that you can fire up in your fantasy matchups. It's a smash hit because of a weak defense. Maybe it's a guy later down in the in your rankings that you can put in your flex a sleeper. Right now, to update our my buddy, Mr. Tuddy guarantees on the season. Max, you're kicking my ass. Okay, we're going by percentage. You, you I don't know how you've done it. Every time I go back and recount my numbers because I think I, I miss miscounted, you're 14 for 19 on these guarantees this year. 14 for 19, oh, 74%. 74%. Thank you. Thank you. I'm one guarantee behind you, but I've had more bites of the apple. I've had more pieces of the pie. I'm 13 for 25. That's 52%. Okay. So you got me 14 to 13, but you got me big time in percentage. And if we just want to throw in Queef Sam, sitting at a distant third, five for 11. Come on, Sam, wake up, get back in. Yeah, he, he stopped. He stopped after like, uh, uh, you know, week six or whatever. We started kicking his ass. We started kicking his ass. He got <laughs> said, I do that, boy. I'll see him Friday, but <laughs> five for 11, 45%. You, you got you got a chance to guarantee a couple and get, get double digits on the season. Definitely. Give me your extra juicy quarterback for week 15. All right, everybody. I am, st- me, I am starting in the playoffs, Jordan Love against Tampa Bay. Okay, Whoa. starting Jordan Love against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is ranked 29th against quarterbacks. Okay, before last game, which last game they played against the Giants, that was a shitty game. He had a, he only had like 8.2, uh, yeah, 8.2 fantasy points. Uh, he had 23 against the Los Angeles Chargers, 25.9 on Thanksgiving Day against Detroit, and then 23 against Kansas City. Okay. This guy's looking okay. He's ranked 11th in our league right now. And can you believe it that Green Bay is pushing for the playoffs? Are, are you? No. Are, are we serious right now? I, I had them last. Well, wh- I don't even know why I do that to myself with being a Bears fan. I I, I just I, I, I feel stupid. I just stupid. Okay, <laughs> but every year, every year, Jordan Love's going to have a great game. They're fighting for the playoffs. The Gr- Green Bay Packers understand how to get into the playoffs. Jordan Love's going to give it all he's got. Fire him in your lineups, everybody. The Green Bay Packers right now are in the playoffs. They are the seventh seed right now, sitting at six and seven. Jordan Love, a surprising season. My extra juicy dog at the quarterback position for week 15. You're starting Jordan Love in your matchup. In my Queef playoff matchup against Queef Wilson, I'm firing up Matthew Stafford against the Washington football Queefs. I, I just lost Justin Herbert. I really don't have a decision uh, to make. There's a bunch of queefs, backups on the uh, on free agency. I'm throwing Matthew Stafford in there against Washington. QB 17 on the season. You know, he, he was he missed a couple of games. He only had eight passing touchdowns through week 10. He has 11 in the last four games. Nice. This guy, this guy is on a def, definition, definition of a heater. He's fired. He's fired up over the last three weeks. He's had his three highest fantasy outputs of the season. He's only heating up hotter. The Rams, they're six and a half point home favorites. 48 and a half point over under in this one is the second highest on the week. The Washington football queefs, they're dead last against the quarterback position in fantasy. Yikes. Uh... Big game coming from Matthew Stafford. He's in my lineup. He better be in yours too. Moving on to the running back, everybody. I am staying with the Rams, okay, against this juicy Washington matchup. I got Kyron Williams. Oh, okay. baby. baby. Oh, my baby. goodness. This guy might be a keeper in our fantasy league. You got to be You got to be thinking oh, about it. I'd be pissed. You got to be, be thinking about it. A guy that was a weak fucking two pickup? Man. Uh, I know. It, it, that's the worst. It, it's when it's a pickup. And then he ends up being like a breakout player. Unless, of course, you picked him up. Then you're like, oh, well, yeah, sweet, sweet. But yeah. Uh, so anyway, Washington's were 26th against the Rush. Let's talk about his last four games. Fantasy points wise, 22.8, 36.4, 18.7, 13.8. He's had uh, two rushing touchdowns and two receiving 
touchdowns. And I'm guaranteeing a my buddy, Mr. Ooh. Tunney, this week against Washington, he's going to get in the end zone, whether it's a rushing or a receiving. He's getting in there, baby. Oh, Kyron Williams, baby. do better fire him up. Fire him up. You might as well sit your other running back too. Just keep him, just keep one running back in there. Kyron Williams will, will will fill in both spots. Don't do that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hell of a pickup from Queef Sam using Kyron Williams a lot this season. He missed four games, I believe, with an ankle, and still he is running back seven in full PPR leagues on the season. Missed four games, running back seven on the, on the season. My guy from Notre Dame, let's not forget, ran all over South Bend a couple years ago. Yeah. My extra juicy dog at the running back position for week 15. My favorite player in the NFL, King Henry, baby. Uh, I don't think I've had him in this segment this season. I, 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 don't, I don't know, but, but I can't recall. He's playing Houston this week, okay? King Henry. He's uh, hold on here. Because Kyron Williams is ranked number seven. Derrick Henry must be tied with him. Oh, never mind. Derrick Henry in full PPR leagues went up to number four. Hey, Derrick okay. Henry, surprise, kind of surprising with the season the Titans are having yeah, record wise. King Henry had four rushing, excuse me, four rushing touchdowns through the first eleven weeks. He said two in each of the last three games. Damn. They're two and a half point home favorites over Houston. We don't know if CJ Stroud's going to play or not. Mm. Derrick Henry, he historically kills the Texans. He runs all over Houston. Houston this season, they're 17th against the running back position, but that's only because they're better on offense and teams are having to throw more to mm -hmm. keep up. I don't see, I don't think that defense is. The defense is better, but I don't think it's changed. If C.J. Stroud doesn't play, the pace might be in the Titans' favor. King Henry, my buddy, Mr. Tutty. Oh, yeah. He's had two in each of the last three games. He's getting another one here against Houston in Nashville. This one's in Nashville, if I'm not, hey. mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. I, I believe you're correct, yeah. Uh, Nice pick. I like the pick. King Henry, you can't go wrong, everybody. All right, let's move on to the wide receiver. Wide receiver this week. I'm going Debo Samuel, baby. Debo. Debo, uh, Debo of San Francisco. They're at Arizona. Arizona's ranked 22nd against wide receivers. Okay. Sucks. Dude, Debo Samuel woke the fuck up. He really did. Okay. Last three games, 18.9 fantasy points with one rushing touchdown. 36.8 fantasy points with two rushing touchdowns or sorry, two receiving touchdowns and one rushing touchdown A Hades three headed dog that game. Mm -hmm. And then last week he had 34.5 fantasy points with one receiving touchdown and one rushing touchdown. I'm calling on my buddy, Mr. Tuddy again. Hey, oh, Debo boy, Samuel, baby. He's getting, Oh my goodness. He's just racking up touchdowns, man. Racking up touchdowns. Wow. I want to be a part of it. My buddy, Mr. Tuddy Debo, baby. Man, Debo. <clears throat> Coming back from that injury, he's really juiced up the 49ers offense more than what it already is. That's great weapons. That's great weapons in San Francisco. Yeah. My extra juicy dog at the wide receiver position for week 15. I'm going to stack here with my guy, Matthew Stafford. I'm going Puka Nakua. I, I was back and forth between Cooper and Cup and Puka Nakua, but I went with the rookie against Washington. Puka this season, he's wide receiver 10 in full PPR leagues. He's 10th at the wide receiver position in catches and targets. And he's fifth at the wide receiver position in receiving yards. But he only has four touchdowns. That's what's holding him back a little bit. They're six and a half point home favorites against the Washington football queefs. 48 and a half point over under is the second highest on the week. The, the Salamanders, they're 31st against wide receivers, second to last. I'm getting greedy here with you, Max. I see Puka Nakua getting in the end zone, baby. My buddy, Ooh. Mr. Tutty, for the rookie, Puka, against Washington this week. Zach's going to be very excited because he has both of those guys in his fantasy lineup come playoff time. So he's he is really happy with you, Cole Breezy. <laughs> sexy picks, sexy picks.
Uh, okay, let's move on to the tight end. Our last picks here for the extra juicy dogs. Nothing out of the ordinary. We talk. I swear we talk about this guy almost every week. I'm going TJ Hawk and Queen. Uh, okay? Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I've looked up and down the the the, the rosters, yeah, and I'm, it was I'm tough like matchups for the big for the tough. a lot of the big dogs. It was tough matchups for sure. Yes, yes. Uh, well, they're play- he's up against Cincinnati. Cincinnati again is ranked the worst against tight ends. This is every single week. Right now, TJ Hawkinson has 85 catches, 839 yards, receiving yards, and five touchdowns, which the five touchdowns, I'm surprised. I thought that would be way up. But TJ Hawkinson, this is a guy that is going to get 100 catches as a tight end, and that is remarkable. Okay, Mm -hmm. that is just a hell of a season. There's only a few tight ends that can do it. TJ Hawkinson is another one that does it. So fire him in your lineups, everybody. I'm not guaranteeing a touchdown. Not doing it here. I'm not doing it this week. But uh, you can guarantee uh, seven, eight catches probably coming from this guy. Yeah, you say that he could catch 100 balls. Him and Travis Kelsey, probably the only two tight ends. Mark Andrews, maybe if he's healthy, but he hasn't been. Yeah, not this year. You've been attacking Cincinnati in this spot. I've been attacking the Denver Broncos at this spot because they're second to last against the tight ends, and they're playing the Detroit Lions this week. So I'm going rookie, my second rookie in this segment. Sam Laporta Potty of the Lions. Right now, he's tied in three in full PPR leagues. Last week against your Bears, he had two catches, which is a career low, 23 yards, which was the second lowest of his career. Detroit wants to get him back involved. Golf's going to be better at home in a dome. 47 and a half point over under is tied for the fourth highest on the week. And like I said, those Denver Broncos, second to last against the tight end position in fantasy. Fire up Sam Laporta. I'm not going to guarantee anything. It's tough to guarantee tight end tutties. It's tough. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to get greedy. But Sam Laporta, fire him up. And he's a top five tight end going into next season, no doubt about it. Is he a keeper consideration, Cole Breezy? It dep- uh, always depends on who else you have, but he's he definitely has to be in keeper consideration, being the tight end three as a rookie in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, Detroit's looking good for years to come, and that's a guy that's going to be on that team for, well, a few years, no doubt about it. 